Hey guys, Lawrence here and welcome to another edition of Shed Talks. And today it's getting a little bit nippy because winter is drawing in and you're probably thinking, well, why are you wearing a t-shirt? The answer is, I feel like wearing a t-shirt because, yeah, I'm just a silly person. And let's just see, Dragon Breath, can you actually pick it up? Yeah, it's that cold. But yeah, I've been playing some Fallout 76 in the meantime. I've been really getting into that game. And being in this shed feels like it's been something I crafted in Fallout 76. Is that crafting tool, it's a really, really good thing. I find it really, really fun. I'm having a good time with Fallout 76. It's a good wind-down game after loads and loads of hours of working on either FF7 or working on my other stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little update. About FF7, uh, I think episode 21 came out on Friday. Lots of people have been really upping it and really, really liking it. It's almost a quarter of a million views already. That's not bad at all. So I've been finishing up the final episode because there's going to be five in this season. So it's not like the 10 that we had last time because we want to kind of keep pacing down correctly. So you'll know where this season will end. I think you can have a good guess of where it will go. In terms of understanding where things are going to go, I've been thinking about what's going to happen with my creations and stuff like that. Things that have been rumbling around YouTube lately, I think you can understand what they are, has meant that a lot of creators are having to think about what they're going to do. Some of them are just curling up and just, you know, biting the dust or just giving up. Others are going to have to try and adapt, and I'm going to try and do the latter, and I suggest that you do that too. Uh, I'm not going to mention its name right now because I really don't want to give myself a right Debbie Downer. So I thought, well, what do you guys think of Kickstarters? I mean, I know that Kickstarters, you see loads of people making it and running off with money. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to create things and take it to the next level because I want to like see some Unbound things, for example, because have you guys heard of Unbound? It's really good. I mean, I think my friend Laura Kate, she's doing a book via them as well. Lots of YouTubers are doing books via Unbound. So, yeah, maybe maybe that's where I should go. Either through that or through Kickstarter, because the Nomad audio dramas I've been putting on this channel, I wonder if you've actually listened to the first couple of episodes, they've really been going down pretty well. Not too bad. I mean, considering it's a 2006 project, and I can't even listen to them anymore. When I upload and edit those videos, I don't listen to them. Because I'm like, oh, it's total cringe. But that's my own opinion. And it's from something I made nearly 13 years ago. But I really want to adapt it. I really want to kind of give it a new lease of life. Maybe as a graphic novel. Like a proper graphic novel. And have something that's a workable project. But that's just one of the things I'm just thinking of. But, you know, crowdfunding is something I do want to do. Patreon is a very good thing. But I'm not too sure what's going to be happening about that. And it's just something that is on my mind. But I really want to give the Nomad or Project Yokoku or whatever iteration it turns out to be this time around another chance to really show its potential. Because I really, really enjoy doing R&R. &R. By using character models that kind of exist already, albeit slightly adapted to the What If Raditz story, is a really, really interesting model. And then having Ranch, which is my own creation, having them interact with other characters is something that I really enjoy. Oh, by the way, anyone wanting to know what's happening with episode three, it is being worked on. But unfortunately, poor Nexus has busted his right hand. So he's having to work on his left. So everybody send positive vibes to Nexus, you know, wish him a speedy recovery. So I guess today's Shed Talk is really just talking about adaptability and that you should really learn to adapt if things go south or things change. Instead of just curling up and giving up, just try and come up with a new solution. Like, for example, if things turned out the way they did, I would still have my work with Team Four Star, so I'd still have work with them. But I also want to make my own stuff, and if my channel is hit by this, and hopefully this channel isn't hit by this either, I want to make original projects that can get out there and I want to be able to keep on doing it and working for myself. This has been a dream of mine. I don't want to give it up. These last two years have been some of the best in my life. Being able to actually set things in stone, having a house, potentially starting a family, having a mortgage. These kind of things are the archetypes of just having a stable life. I didn't have that. 
I had a very loving family and all that who would support me to the bitter end, and that's great. But I was able to forge out on my own, and that's something I really relish. And I want to keep it that way. I mean, yeah, Philly's job as a teacher has meant that, you know, things won't go tango uniform immediately. We'll be able to keep living here, but I want to be able to contribute in some way. And, yeah, I could go back to working as a freelance editor, of course, for other companies, but I don't want to give this up. I feel like there's still life in this yet. So I could just go back to doing voiceovers. I mean, I have a regular voiceover gig. Just get some more of those. And, uh, okay, sorry, I just got distracted because there's a cat over there near our rock pool. And lots of the cats in the local area really like the rock pool area because cats like dirty rainwater for some reason. Smokey goes to it all the time. And all of the cats, even though they're really fidgety, I'm just, yeah. We're pretty popular in this neck of the woods of London. So I guess today I'm just saying, well, if you have other skills or have other means to be able to do stuff, don't give up hope with things getting rough. And, you know, just make your voice heard. Would you be interested in a Kickstarter campaign for something like The Nomad in some new guys? I mean, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and completely retool it, of course, because I've had some good feedback from it. So thank you in the comments for like saying things about let's understand why some characters feel about these characters the way they do. Uh, I didn't think about that when I was 19. I just wanted to put out the story immediately. And it, back in the VAA days, when you wanted to have an audio drama, you just did it. I mean, we were just teenagers or young adults, so we just think, well, we don't have to worry about this. We have an idea. Let's get it out there. Either that or do a Mermaid Melody fan dub. <sighs> yeah, there is a lot of ambiguity concerning user-generated content going into the 2020s, but let's hope it just continues or stays relatively similar to the way they are now, because the internet is a really fruitful and creative and diverse place. And, you know, it's down to you guys and us, our stature on the internet that, you know, we can have really fulfilling lives and... Yeah, sorry, Moa, I'm getting really passionate here. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, you know... Let's just keep going, eh? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Monday and continue to see more content here. Like I say, as I always do at the end of these videos, take care, and one is glad to be of service.